Good morning, morning South. South. I'm David. And I'm Caden. And this is South, South Live. Live. Today is Wednesday, December 19th, 2018. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets or beef rib patty sandwich, carrots, sliced cucumbers, green salad, mandarin oranges, and milk. Students and staff, pop out and bring in your pop tabs. Bring them into your homework throughout the months of December and January. Character Counts Club will donate them to the Central Ohio chapter of the Ronald McDonald House. Last night, the 7th grade boys basketball team made a nice effort to come back in the fourth quarter, but unfortunately lost to one point by Newark Heritage, 43-42. to The team's record going into winter break is 6-3. The 8th grade boys basketball team was in action last night for their last game before heading into winter break. Good morning, staff. This is just a friendly reminder. New York Heritage visited South Gymnasium, and after a small delay in the start of the game, the boys were able to jump on top of Heritage early and never let them challenge for the lead. The final score was Gahanna 55 and New York Heritage 18. The 8th grade boys are now 8-1 on the season. Top performers for the Lions were Brandon Ivory, Kamari Burns, Ty Staples, Seth Young, and Daniel Farmer. The Lions will play one game over break on Thursday, January 3rd at Newark Liberty. The 8th grade boys basketball team would like to thank all the students for their great support during the games, during the home games this year and wish all the students and staff at Gahanna Middle School South a happy holiday and a happy new year. The 8th grade girls traveled to Newark last night to take on an undefeated Newark Heritage team. The Lions won 31-27. They are now 8-1 on the season. In their next game, they will take on Newark Liberty at home on January 3rd. The 7th grade girls basketball team also traveled to Newark Heritage last night to pull out a win 40-17. to This week, we're having some spirit days. Today is wear your favorite jersey. Tomorrow is Grease and Arsoge for the conclusion of the Outsiders Unit. And Friday is our Ugly Sweater Contest. Student leadership will vote on a winner for each grade level during lunch, and we will be giving the winner a gift card, and they will get their picture in the yearbook. The grade level that has the most participation will get the honors of the spirit stick. God Talk is tomorrow, and it will be, and it will be Christmas themed. And happy birthday to Hiab W. and Josie Schwak. And, and here's, here's Miss Murdoch. Murdoch. Good Wednesday morning, Middle School South. I know that I am invisible, and that's a good thing because my hair doesn't look very good is what I said. We are down to three days. That means three days of still finishing our work and do what we need to do to finish up this quarter, so don't let it go. You know I'm going to say it. Get your lost and found on the way out of school today. Oh, I can't even show you my gifts. That goes against my whole being invisible, but I'm going to tell you about them. Words of wisdom today. The holidays are a special time for gift giving. We pack the stores looking for the perfect gift for that special person in our lives. Sometimes we spend so much time, energy, and money on that perfect gift that we lose sight of the true spirit of giving. A gift, after all, is a way of expressing love and appreciation, right? A way to honor someone we care about. Robert Louis Stevenson, author of the classic Treasure Island, says this, I am in the habit of looking not so much to the nature of the gift as to the spirit in which it is offered. Sometimes just a simple letter, poem, or card that expresses love or appreciation can be the very best gift of all. So don't lack, let lack of money or time stand in the way of giving the greatest gift of all, the gift of love. Remember, the best gifts are tied with heartstrings. Thank you for everybody's love and appreciation this week, and have a great day, South. <laughs>